Hi, uh, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falker County Public Schools. Um, going back to doing three great things uh, for my updates rather than sort of the typical COVID vaccine, masks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera related updates. I'm going to go back to doing three great things because uh, I want to get definitely back to a, a place of normalcy. And now that school's back in session, I've been able to go visit schools, uh, seen a lot of great stuff. But I want to start with enrollment. Um, so our enrollment is up from um, what we budgeted for, which is 10,100 to uh, currently it's around 10,700. And that's that's really good news. Um, we During the onset of the, the pandemic, we were at around 10,800. So we're, we're close to where we were. And this is exciting and it's great uh, that we're getting many of those students back and, and enrolling new students. But and to a lesser extent, it's also good for us because we build our budget around an enrollment number. And in this case, the enrollment number is 10,100. That's significantly more than that now. That that just bodes well in terms of um, the state revenue that we receive because that's what we build our budget around. Uh, so that's good news. Um, also wanted to talk about school nutrition. And, uh, you know, it, it may seem like a little thing, but in the, in the grand scheme, it's really a big thing. Our... our uh, school nutrition program, school nutrition folks are amazing. Sue Ann Fox, who's our new director, has done an amazing job. Uh, just wanted to let you know that, for example, lunch participation is up uh, between 15 and 30% across the division. Breakfast is up 30% across the division. Uh, we continue to offer we meet weekend meals um, for families who need them. And uh, we're using a lot more. There's more demand for fruits and vegetables. The bad thing is supply is difficult to get for manpower issues, et cetera. But the use of fruits and vegetables is way up and very excited about that. So really hats off to our, all of our school nutrition folks. And uh, Ms. Fox and her group do a really amazing job. And we're very appreciative of that. Very important important element of our um, what we provide for students and for families. And last but not least, this is a little thing, but um, as, a, as a former football coach, basketball coach, uh, I, I just spent a little while at Cattle Runs football practice a uh, week or so ago. And um, it's, it's, again, it is a little thing, but it felt so normal. And it was a reminder that our kids are so resilient and they're so eager to be involved in uh, school activities, etc. And I think that's really exciting. And so as I was able to have been able to visit schools in the last couple of weeks, uh, I just saw a lot of things that, you know, before the before pandemic, uh, maybe I took for granted, like a bunch of kids playing football or uh, kids singing or uh, in, you know, the art and music classrooms. It, it just it just feels good. And I, again, I think we take those things for granted at times. Uh, but to be able to stand there and watch a bunch of kids play football and practice and and laugh and have a good time and not worry about all the other stuff was very, very uplifting and very encouraging to me personally. So I wanted to share that. And just as, as a reminder that we'll be doing three great things from now on, ex unless there's something major that I need to provide an update regarding. Otherwise, we'll be doing, uh, doing three great things. All right. So I hope everyone has a great rest of the week. Thank you.